It happened this past week. The passing of two beloved members of our Sunday morning family, correspondent Bill Plant and longtime contributor Roger Welsh. To begin, Major Garrett has an appreciation of our friend and colleague Bill Plant. Bill Plant was a journalism legend who never acted like one. With a career that spanned the civil rights struggle, Vietnam era, and five presidents over 35 years. How do you do? My name is Bill Plant, and I'd like to show you some of my work. Bill's broadcast career began in 1956 at a radio station here in Chicago, where he read the news and played classical music. He started at CBS News eight years later and is among the few to interview both Martin Luther King Jr. Have all the activities of the past weeks in Selma come to uh, fruition now? And President Barack Obama. Mr. President, why is there such a disparity in the way blacks and whites see race relations? Bill's bellowing baritone was his signature. Did you make a mistake in sending arms to Tehran, sir? No, and I'm not taking any more questions. Mr. President, do you believe Osama bin Laden's denial that he had anything to do with this? He exemplified the best of accountability journalism, from his front row seat to history, even when getting to that seat required a climb. That was very impressive. <laughs> or when he wasn't in it. Bill Plant? No, Bill's not here? That's shocking. Bill was fearless and relentless, whether covering foreign conflicts or political conventions. His tenacity earned him a seat at the anchor desk. Good evening. He was a generous soul who poured his hobbies screw top into his work. Now a lot of people think that screw top means bad wine. And his penchant for adventure You're never too old to do something stupid! propelled him around the world. Bill Plant, CBS News, Miami. Bill Plant, CBS News, Pianwa. Ho Chi Minh City, Berlin. With the president in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. Bill was loved by his CBS News colleagues and by no one more than Robin Smith, his wife of 34 years. Bill was a friend. He was fun and funny. He made you feel special and important. As one colleague put it, what a great guy. And Roger Welsh. Sunday morning's own poet of the plains died this past week in his beloved hometown of Danabrog, Nebraska. We don't get excited in this town. His postcards from Nebraska brought us stories about life in small town America, reported in his classic overalls. Danabrog's not on the way to anywhere, he wrote. I'm here by choice. I like the plains. But most of all, I like the people. Goodbye, and thank you, Roger Welsh.